任務完了。レオナ・ハイダン・ウォーズ・エントリデュース・トゥ・ド・キング・オフ・ファイター・ズ・セリーズ・イン・ナイティ・シックス・アン・シス・デン・シュー・ウォーズ・フィーチャー・イン・エブリ・シングル・インスタール・メント・ビーチ・アン・メイン・オー・イン・ナン・カナン・エントリー・ウィッド・ワン・エクセプション・バス・モロン・デッ・レイチャー・ニッド・ス・トゥ・セイ・レオナ・イズ・ワン・オブ・ド・モース・フェイマス・フィーメル・カラクターズ・オブ・ド・フランシャイズ・アン・イン・ディス・ヴィデオ・ウィッド・ダイヴ・ディープ・イント・ヘッド・バック・ストーリー・アン・カバー・ヘッド・ダーク・シークレッツ・アン・レーン・オール・アバウト・ド・フェンス・フェイヴェリット・サイレンス・ソルダー As always, if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you can be notified with every new video posted. Leona is the daughter of Gaidel, one of the eight elite servants of Orochi, also known as the Hakishu. Unlike his comrades, Gaidel was a pacifist and had no interest in reviving the evil being. Abandoning his mission, he settled down in a remote village, got married, and had a daughter, Leona. Her name means lioness, which implies that she was born in a Spanish speaking country, but that is just a speculation. Gaida's peaceful life didn't last long, however, as one day he received an unwanted guest, the leader of the Orochi clan, Genitz. He asked Gaida to join him in his quest to revive Orochi, but the latter refused, expressing his preference for peace and disdain for war and violence. Enraged by this response, Genitz left that day only to come back the same night with a cruel plan in his mind. As the leader of the Hakishu, he had the ability to trigger a condition called the Riot of the Blood in other members of his clan, and he did just that with Gaida's daughter, Leona. The young girl went berserk and unwillingly killed her parents and everyone else in the village. Satisfied with the result, Genit locked the enraged state within her until another time when he might need her again. Then he just left her shocked and soaked in her people's blood. Leona lost all memories of this event. Maybe it was a defense mechanism of her brain to prevent her from going totally mad. She kept wandering aimlessly from village to another until the day when she was found by Hyder. The leader of the Ikari mercenaries saw in Leona the daughter he lost years ago and adopted her. At first, he was against involving her in any military activity, but was surprised when he saw her natural fighting ability, and so he raised her to be a soldier and trained her personally. He even taught her his own unique style of assassination techniques. But even with her combat prowess, Hyder refused to give her any formal rank, as this act would put her in additional dangers on the battlefield. And at the age of 18, Leona was given her first official mission. In 1997. With her superiors Ralph Jones and Clark Steele, Leona entered the 96th edition of the King of Fighters tournament. Their mission was to investigate the reason behind the participation of the notorious crime lord Gis Howard. The Ikari team had no idea that there was a much more villainous man involved with this competition. The sight of Genitz making his entrance at the tournament's conclusion filled Leona's heart with inexplicable fear and anger. She's seen this man before, but she couldn't remember that this was the man responsible for her parents' death. Before he fought the Sacred Treasures team, Genis confronted the young woman and reminded her of her origins, preaching that it was her destiny to serve Orochi. Though she didn't understand what he meant, that statement left Leona anxious and worried about the future. Luckily, her teammates succeeded to dispel her uneasiness and make her feel slightly better, but just for a brief moment. Her troubled state carried over to the battlefield and led to her temporary suspension from the service alongside her partners. Wanting to cheer her up, Ralph enlisted them to QF 97. Though his intentions were good, this idea would turn out later to be really bad. The New Faces team, who were actually the last member of the Hakishu, used this competition to gather the necessary energy for the revival of Orochi. With the growing presence of the demon, Leona inevitably fell victim to the dreaded right of the Blood State. She felt her head was going to explode. Her vision became blurred, and her unique blue hair turned crimson red. Without warning, she attacked her teammates with the intention to slice and cut them into pieces. Fortunately, the two veteran soldiers managed to best the speed and strength of the wild Leona and succeeded to knock her out. 
After waking up, Leona realized that her memories were back. She remembered how she was the one that ended the life of her parents. She became aware that she was cursed by the Orochi blood and could lose control over her body at any time, just like how it happened few moments ago. As long as she lives, every person close to her was in danger. Overwhelmed by guilt and shame, Leona attempted suicide but was stopped by Ralph at the last moment. He reassured her that she was alone no longer and encouraged her to keep leaving. Leona had a new family she could rely on now. The rising of the criminal syndicate known as Nest two years later attracted the attention of Hyder. He charged Ralph, Clark, Leona and the newcomer Whip to enter QF 99 and investigate, suspecting that Ness was behind its organizing. Leona and her teammates learned that Kadash and Maxima were related to the syndicate and followed them to the hideout of the tournament's host, Chrysalid. Once he was defeated by the hero's team, the Vicari squad tried to capture Kadash and Maxima but failed. During the next two tournaments, the Vicari team's main mission was to participate and investigate in order to terminate nests. When the cartel's main HQ was destroyed by Kadash, Kyo, Iori and Kula, the Ikari squadron learned that all the syndicate bases stopped functioning. It was the end of Ness, but they didn't have the time to rest before they were affected to another mission. In 2003, the Ikari team received invitations to the QOF's tournament. Those invites were curiously familiar as they had the ominous R seal on them. Worried that Rugal Bernstein may have returned, Leona, Ralph and Clark entered the competition under the orders of Hyder to investigate. They fought their way to the finals and were invited aboard a ship called Sky Noah. It was then when they met the hosts of the tournament, Adelheid and Rose Bernstein. The children of the former crime lord Rugal were behind its organizing. Just like his father, Adelheid enjoyed fighting strong opponents and so he challenged Leona and her team. After vanquishing Bernstein Jr., Rose wasn't happy with the combat results and had the intention to execute the Ikari team, but Adelheid who had good sportsmanship stopped her arguing that they won fair and square. He let them leave the aircraft unharmed, and for the first time, the Ikari warriors were officially declared champions of the King of Fighters. Little do they know, a group known as those from the past were actually the ones pulling the strings from the shadows. They used the competition as a mean to break the seal of Orochi, and because of that, the Ikari team had no time to celebrate their victory. Ralph and Clark had to use all their strength to subdue Leona, who once again entered the right of the blood state, and this time they were both nearly killed. When she came back to her senses, Leona was shocked to find out her teammates lying on the ground and badly injured. Ralph ordered her to contact HQ for an immediate pickup as he and Clark could no longer move. This was the second time when Leona tried to kill her friends and she nearly succeeded. This incident had a big emotional trauma on her. As a result, Hyder pulled her out of the team so she could have time to recover properly. When Ralph and Clark entered QF11 to secure evidence from those from the past, Whip was ordered to replace Leona. During the events of QF13, Hyder was contacted by Adelheid, requesting to work together in order to stop those from the past. Leona, who had overcome her trauma, was sent to join the tournament with her teammates. Although the presence of Orochi was stronger than ever during the competition, she resisted the urge to go berserk and managed to keep her senses in check. But at the tournament's conclusion, Leona lost consciousness. She woke up several days later and found her teammates gathered around her. Consoled by their concern, Leona laughed for the first time. When Verse was destroyed at the end of Key Wave 14, Hyder ordered his subordinates to track the resurrected individuals. He informed Leona that Geidel was not yet confirmed, however. She expressed that she was more concerned about her unstable state, but after seeing her teammates joking about the time when she nearly killed them, she felt much more relieved and ready to face whatever the future throws at her.
Leona is a charge based character that employs a more agile variation of the Hayden self made fighting style. The set style has an emphasis on her cutting head strikes. Just like her adoptive father, she uses special bladed gloves to execute most of her attacks, like the moon slash and her famous desperate move, the V shaped slash. Being a soldier, Leona has some deadly tools under her sleeves. For instance, her earrings are actual bombs that have caught many of her opponents off guard, either by throwing them at their direction or directly planting them in their bodies. Her superior officer Ralph has also influence on Leona's combat style. This can be seen with her blowback attack that is an imitation of Ralph's. As the daughter of one of the hockey show, Leona has Orochi blood flowing in her veins. This means she is susceptible to enter the right of the blood state whenever Orochi's presence is strong. Her strength and speed increases drastically. She starts to behave like an enraged animal, running on her four limbs and attacking whoever crosses her path. However, Leona seems to have slightly learned to control this enraged state to some extent. When Orochi's presence is weak, she can use the power of the right of the blood for a very brief moment to increase the damage of her attacks. You can tell when this happens when her hair turns red. In KeyWave 2002 and 2002 Unlimited match, she can willingly go full berserk by sacrificing half of her remaining health. But these games are non-canon. Speaking of non-canon entries, in KeyWave 98, she inexplicably salutes Chang of Team Korea. Though the developers have confessed it was a glitch, it became a very popular subject among the fans, speculating that maybe there was something between these two. 17 years later, Leona and Chang salute each other once again in KOF 14. Leona dislikes the sight of blood, which is ironic knowing the most of her techniques are slash attacks, but it becomes understandable when one remembers her terrible past. She often belittles her opponents, stating that they can't win against her, but her statement masks a feeling of pity and worry rather than arrogance. After all, she always had trouble expressing her feelings. She even rarely talks to anybody beside her teammates, for she is constantly afraid of losing control over herself and hurting others. But being a member of the Ikari mercenaries, Leona feels blessed to be part of her new heavily armed family. I hope you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up if you did, and why not consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.